Hi. Hi everyone. Welcome to JE Max. JE means Advanced Extreme Series. Season 2 of JE Max. So through this uh, season 2, we are completely concentrating on a particular topic uh, which is very, very important for JE Mains and Advanced of that complex number season. So far, we have completed 21 lessons of the complex numbers. This is about 22, lesson number 22. Again, my friends, and from 20 lessons onwards, we are completely concentrating on solving the problems from the integrated textbook. And please don't forget to check the description and please don't forget to press the bell icon. You will get the continuous notifications. And in the, in the description, I am providing the links of the previous classes also. Yeah, in continuation of uh, lesson number 21, this is lesson number 22. In this lesson, we are con completely concentrating on problems of 5 to 10 of the complex numbers of exercise 4.2. Now, what is the fifth problem? If Z2 by Z1 is an imaginary number, find the value of. See, this kind of models are very, very important for board examination as well as the computer examinations. And moreover, denominator not equal to 0. That is the key point here. And Z2 by Z1, this ratio is what is given? It is an imaginary number is given for you. So, without a loss of generality, I have taken this as what? Uh, some IY. No harm if I have chosen like this. Because it is completely imaginary. Now, I need to find the value of 2Z1 plus Z2 by 2z1 minus z2. Here I am applying the beautiful technique. You need to practice that technique. Mul divide bo on both sides, uh, both numerator and denominator with z1. So this becomes uh, 2 plus z2 by z1 by 2 minus z2 by z1. This is modulus 2 plus iy by 2 minus iy. As per the properties of modulus, mod z1 by z2 is equal to mod z1 by mod z2. This is nothing but root of 4 plus y square. Again, this is root of 4 plus y square. Both gets cancel equal to 1. This is the way of solving this kind of model. Getting answer is not only important, the technique involved in the problem is important. Practice that. Now, coming to sixth problem. It is also similar to like that. So, Z1 is equal to 1 plus root 3i is given for you. So, argument Z1 is equal to tan inverse of root 3 that is pi by 3 because both x and y are positive means real and imaginary parts are positive. Z2 is equal to root 3 plus i. So, argument of Z2 is equal to again tan inverse 1 by root 3. That is again I can write this as pi by 6. Now, Z3. Here it is minus 1 plus i is given. So, first I need to find theta. That is a tan inverse of modulus minus 1. So, tan inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4. Since x is negative and y is positive, therefore argument of z3 is equal to pi minus theta, that is pi minus pi by 4 is equal to 3 pi by 4. But I want what? Argument of z2, z3 by z1. So as per the properties of argument, this is argument z2, plus argument z3 minus argument z1 to substitute. Argument z2 is pi by 6 plus argument z3 is 3 pi by 4 minus argument z1 is what? Pi by 3. After simplification, you can get this as what? 7 pi by 12. This is the method. So, neatly you find Arguments of each and every complex numbers and apply the, the basic funda of the argument of product and quotient, you will get the answer. And here, I am giving as a hint also for this problem for you. Please note down it very carefully. See, this is the only hint I am giving. Already this, this already I, have, I wrote on the screen also. Nothing to worry.
you please practice this and you can apply the problem very easily now coming to the next question if 1 minus root 2 plus i equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta then theta is equal to it this is somewhat a tricky question because unknown quantities are given here okay what is theta that means indirectly what they are asking they are asking you to find argument they are asking to find argument so let it be alpha let z is equal to 1 minus root 2 plus i 1 minus root 2 plus i let it be argument of z is equal to alpha let so first I, what i am saying is i am finding um, uh, 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 tan inverse of 1 by 1 minus root 2 modulus you find it this after simplification tan inverse 1 plus root 2 that is minus of 1 plus root 2 this is what actually tan uh, um, uh, tan inverse of my, uh, minus of root 2 plus 1 that you have to practice that you have to practice that i will explain since uh, here 1 minus root 2 is negative that is x is negative y is positive therefore alpha is equal to what uh, pi minus tan inverse of minus of 1 plus root 2 not minus of uh, tan inverse of 1 plus root 2 this is a pi minus this is a pi minus uh, i can take uh, this as what 3 pi by 8 after simplification it is what uh, 5 pi by 8 it is so this is the value of tan inverse of root 2 plus 1 is 3 pi by 8 since the x is negative here that means real part is negative and imaginary part is positive so my argument is what or theta is what pi minus apply that here simultaneously i am providing a small hint also you practice this because how to get that one tan 5 pi by 8 is 1 minus cos pi. This is also another way. This is also another way to get this answer. But that is a different story. But if after simplification, you will get the answer. See, what is a tan 5, 5 pi by 8? You will find it very easily. Tan 5 by 5, tan 5 pi by 8 is 1 minus cos 5 pi by 4 by 8, sin 5 pi by 4. You substitute those values and simplify this. You will get uh, this tan 5 pi by 8 value. Okay, my friends. And this is about seventh problem. Now coming to eighth problem the principal value of the argument that means principal argument they are asking z is equal to 1 plus uh, cos 6 pi by 5 plus it it looks like the problem that we have solved already in our previous video so here the beauty in the question is uh, whenever this kind of structures are given for you now i am converting them into my polar form modulus amplitude form now here it is in the form of 1 plus cos theta this i can write it as 2 cos square theta by 2 that is 2 cos square 6 pi by 10 that is 3 pi by 5 plus this i can write it as 2 sin 3 pi by 8 3 pi by 5 cos 3 pi by 5 if i have written like this by taking the common 2 cos 3 pi by 5 then in bracket i can get this as what cos 3 pi by 5 plus i sin 3 pi by 5. Obviously, it is in the form of mod amp form. Mod amp form of that. It is in the form of mod amp form. It is uh, the mod amp form modulus amplitude form of z. So, amp z is equal to 3 pi by 5. Very simple. Apply sometimes common sense. Common sense play a very good role sometimes for solving the problems. Hope you, this is another important problem of course and this is a ninth problem. And here, this ninth problem is also looks like uh, our previous model. Here also what I am saying is, it is also purely imaginary. So as usual, I just consider 5z2 by 11z1 as i y, where z1 not equal to 0 where z1 not equal to 0. So, you take 2z1 plus 3z2 by 2z1 minus 3z2 and divide both numerator and denominator with z1. This is written as 3z2 by 
टू जेड वन बाई टू माइनस थ्री जेड टू बाई जेड वन माई फ्रेंड्स हियर एक्चुअली जेड टू बाई जेड वन इज वॉट लेवन आई बाई फाइव जेड टू बाई लेवन जेड वन इज लेवन आई बाई फाइव सो इट इज आई कैन राइट इट एज टू प्लस थ्री इंटू लेवन आई बाई फाइव बाई टू माइनस थ्री इंटू लेवन आई बाई फाइव obviously modulus of numerator is 4 plus 33 by 5 whole square by root of 4 plus 33 by 5 whole square is equal to 1 you will get the answer in general in 99% of the cases for this kind of model you will get the unique answer like one but please please don't depends upon one only sometimes it may a constant also okay this is the technique this is the universal technique one should practice hope you like the and another important problem this is a 10th problem if z plus 1 by z is equal to 1 this is again the most important model for computer examinations this is again most important model for computer examinations see here there are several ways of solving this problem but uh, i am introducing an important technique here what is given z plus 1 by z z plus 1 by z is equal to 1 so without the loss of generality i am considering my z as cos theta plus i sin theta then 1 by z is equal to what cos theta minus i sin theta this is one kind of assumption thereby z plus 1 by z uh, uh there 1 plus z uh, plus 1 by z How come uh, this is two cos theta? No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry. I do one thing. I do one thing. Nothing to worry. So by taking LCM, this I can write it as z uh, square minus z plus one equal to zero. So this is z is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus four ac by two a. That is minus one plus r minus i root three by two. clear so if z is equal to my one uh, one is 1 plus i root 3 by 2 another is minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 you consider any one of them you just consider any one of them suppose z is equal to 1 plus i root 3 by 2 suppose z is equal to 1 plus i root 3 by 2 what will happen what will happen so you substitute you find the value of z to power 4 and you find the value of 1 by z to power 4 and you substitute it you get the answer very easily this is one way of solving the problem so this 1 plus i root 3 i am writing conveniently i am conveniently writing like this or i can do one thing uh, if i have taken a minus 1 as common from here This is minus one, minus one, minus i root three by two. Can I write like this? That is, it is nothing but minus uh, omega. So if z is equal, because already we introduced what is minus one plus i root three by two, what is minus one minus i root three by two? Minus one minus i root three by two is nothing but uh, minus one plus i root three by two is omega. Minus one plus minus i root three by two is equal to omega squared. This already. Oh, in cube uh, complex cube roots of unity that we have solved it. See, if you have solved this equation, x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is minus 1 plus r minus i root 3 by 2. There, minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2. That already we have proved it. This is omega squared minus omega squared. So if I have substituted this value, so this is what minus omega squared. Whole square, whole power four, because my z is what minus omega square. So this value z power four plus one by z power four, I can write it as minus omega square whole power four plus one by minus omega square whole power four. This is nothing but omega power eight plus one by omega power eight. This I can write it as omega cube whole square into omega square. Plus similarly, omega cube whole square into omega square. Omega cube is equal to omega, so omega square plus one by omega square. I can get it. This is omega square 
1 by omega square is nothing but uh, plus omega. So, 1 omega plus omega square is equal to minus. Because already every 1 plus omega plus omega square, omega cube is equal to 1. Those relations are very, very familiar notations for you. You apply that one. So, here the beauty is uh, I have just converted them into the known quantities which is in form of omega. Thereby, I got the result very easily and quickly. This model is also very, very important. Don't worry even for the higher powers of x also. Don't worry about the, the higher powers of x also. Hope my friends, if you like this video, please share and subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell icon. You will get the continuous notification and we will meet with the next lesson soon. Thank you.